Michelle loves it when we get the spinnaker out and there's no engine, there's a light breeze and we're basically doing one knot or two knots less than what the actual wind. Yep, so right now it's eight knots of wind and we're doing six knots of speed. So I don't normally talk about stuff like this, mainly because I was brought up in England as a you don't show your emotions. So we activated Iridium Go earlier and started tracking and um, it seems very strange not being able to send my dad the link because he would watch where we were going and make sure that we were all right. Um, ask me questions about the sail, the weather, stuff like that. So it's very hard knowing it's not here anymore. Close hold right now. It's 16, 15, 16 knots of wind. Got 15 degree heel, and we're doing five knots. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually quite pleased with this. Uh, wind's too strong for the spinnaker, which would have been nice, but. We learned our lesson last time with that one, when we were in the Keys. But it uh, looks like we'll get to Mangrove Key just as the sun is setting. So we're going to stop there a night and then I think the plan is to catch up with some friends that are at Pensacola and Allen Key. So uh, we're going to leave fairly early and it's a 10 hour sail. So we should get there um, tomorrow night. But caught a nice yellow-tailed snapper. What kind of fish is that? Oh, Lexi, yeah. go on dad's side of the bed, there's a little chart. You can see it from here, on his side of the bed. Woohoo! Okay. okay oh, oh. No, it's a yellow-tailed snapper. Oh, snapper's supposed to be really good fish. I've never ate one, but they say it's really good. Oh, oh, he's a feisty one. Look at that. All right, let me get you. Do we get in a few more of those and some mackerel? Especially the mackerel, because they were big. But uh, yeah, trying to sail more than, than motor. Also trying to trim the sails a little bit as well so we can get the maximum speed out of everything. So uh, yeah, enjoying this. What do you think? Um, I'm glad we caught a fish. I'm super glad that we're not using the engine so much. And we should never wait this long to go sailing again. I know that we needed to be in a marina, there were things we needed to do, repairs, we needed to go home, all that stuff, but never again. So we just left Mangrove Key and um, there were four other boats there. So it was a good anchorage, we didn't drag, we put 180 foot of chain out, we were in 10 feet of water, but the reason why I put 180 out was because um, it was like 20 plus knots of wind. So I wanted to make sure that we grabbed really good. 
It was a little bit rolly, but we were on the west side of the island, which was cutting a lot of it down. So we're trying to make the five hour trip to Grand Selkie. Um, it's very rolly. Um, and there's not a lot we can do about that because that's where the waves are coming from and so is the wind. There's a couple of scroll squalls on the horizon. But I'm hoping that that will break up. Water is amazing. It's just so clear right now. So can't wait to get some really good snorkeling in. We're yeah. gonna meet up with um, Chuck and Hattie tomorrow, and the first thing they said was, "Hey, I know we need to get our stuff from y'all, but do you want to go snorkeling? We got a great place to go." So yeah. that's the plan. So we're producing some water right now, so that's why we got the engine running. That and because of the wind, we're heading straight into it, so it's no point in having the the jib out. It was and the, anyway. the mains partially reefed because again we got 15 20 knots of wind um it is on the nose but it's stabilizing the boat out a little bit ready to get your pole back out if um, we pause this one that would be dinner tonight and then latrell wants to catch dinner again tonight it so. was pretty good so was it was it any good it was really good. I didn't, so I always cook fish when we catch it, but I always cook whatever the kids are gonna want to because our kids don't like fish too much, or at least the girls don't. So I went in thinking, I always go in thinking, I'll cook the fish, I'll try the fish, but then I'll eat whatever the kids are eating. I didn't really eat anything but the fish. Like I had to, after I was done, go, wait, there's no, none of the sides are left. Like I didn't get sides because I was eating the fish and, Forgot to get inside. So yeah. But well, it was good fish. It was good fish. Yep, so we'd cap a, we'd eat a yellowtail snapper any day of the week. Yes. And I don't even know how to cook it, but I did cook it. Now I'll cook everything else and it was good. Yeah. What are you doing? I guess that way. What are the kids having tonight for dinner? Pork chops. Pork chops. Yeah, what were we having? I'm hoping we have fish, otherwise we won't have anything. I was hoping you were down here to tell me you, you had fish on. Oh, you'd hear the real r screaming if we did that. Cut in? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Psychotic. A magic circle used in the performance of magic spells or to, to contain dangerous spirits Whatever you do, don't break the circle. Millennium Falcon, psychotic millennium. She's the best hunk of junk in the galaxy. <laughs> oh, our word is moronic. Idiotic, stupid, or foolish. Moronic, making a speech. No audience ever complained about a presentation or speech being too short. I agree with that. Making a speech. Who said that? Who said Throwback Thursday? I didn't, I didn't know what to put. Mine were all bad. Okay. Well so we had a good night at Grand Sale Key. I did uh, a bit of cleaning our bottom from... Uh, from Indian Harbour. I've got the other side to do now. Did a couple of other maintenance chores like change the water filter for the drinking water, which everybody was happy about. Um, the bit between Grand Sale and Foxtown is a really good fishing spot. We've caught quite a few uh, mackerel in this area. We just lost a big one. So there's a particular lure that I like that has pink, white, and silver. It looks like a squid, and um, but it also has a, a green rubber tube so that when the fish bites down, it's not biting into the line. Who's watching the 
the motor to start driving. Helen, be very careful. Hey, on, Helen. We're going in a circle to try to keep the fish from wrapping around our prop because he's being a real jerk and going around the back of the boat. What fish is it? I don't know, but we, um... Did it hooked him in the side? We hooked him inside. Oh, that's, um, uh, mackerel, isn't it? All right, hold on. Steven, you may have to grab it from that side, yeah. Woo! Is that a mackerel, you think? It looks like it. It's right on the nose, both wind and waves. You would think in a shallower area it wouldn't be so bad, but I guess it's not really in compared to being out in the ocean, but yeah, not much fun. Water coming up over the bow, having a motor. Ugh. Everywhere's getting wet. All the other boats going the other way. Maybe they know something I don't. Thank mm -hmm. you.